الثلج والبرد ونقهم من الذنوب والخطايا كما ينقى الثوب الأبيض من الدنس وجازهم بالحسنات إحسانا وبالسيئات عفوا وغفرانا I really appreciate you joining me today and this story comes from Birmingham. It's about the murder of Mataza Nazir. This was a big murder that occurred in Birmingham. In August of last year, two men have been jailed today for 35 year minimum. I want that to sink in for the reality of what happens and the consequences of these actions. 10 shots were heard on audio and CCTV shows the moment that Shamrez Khan and Tahir Zayman opened fire on a residential street on the father of two. The incident sparked the biggest ever CCTV trawl in West Midlands police history. This revealed that Mr. Nazir's car was boxed in on Bagshaw Road before multiple bullets were fired at the 26-year-old. Three of those bullets hit him in the back and despite the efforts of paramedics, Mr. Nazir, who had a 10-month-old child, was declared dead at the scene. Shamrez Khan and Tahir Zayman were today jailed for the savage murder. The pair both denied involvement but were convicted at Birmingham Crown Court following a six-week trial. Detectives pieced together the killer's movements on the day of the shooting by reviewing almost 1,000 CCTV clips from a dozen locations. The footage released by West Midlands Police shows a black VW Golf repeatedly circling around Bagshaw Road in the hours before the murder. As Mr. Nazir's killers planned the murder and carried out reconnaissance of the area, Khan and Zayman got out of the cars and fatal shots were fired. A post-mortem examination showed that each one of the three shots which hit Mr. Nazir would have proved fatal and forensic experts found at least six bullet holes in the Mitsubishi, with bullets and bullet fragments also being recovered from inside the car. Mr. Nazir was left in the road and Khan and Zayman raced away from the scene and headed to units four miles away on an industrial estate in Small Leaf. Police said that a man there was in an unusual top with goggles on his head and he was caught on CCTV getting out of a Seat earlier in the day and they had captured Khan arriving at the units in a distinctive top as well. Police believe the two vehicles were then cut into pieces and disposed of and during the search of the units... Forensic experts recovered a shell from a sea at Leon and car mats from a Dacia Duster. The footage was established that although Khan deliberately left his phone at home, during the time of the murder, the men involved were seen using walkie-talkies to communicate with each other. Cops also retrieved a discarded cigarette butt from one of the units and a DNA profile matched Zayman. Khan from Saltley and Zayman from Yardleywood Road in Birmingham also found guilty of perverting the course of justice on the 21st of April 2021 and they have been sentenced to life in prison to spend at least 35 years behind bars. A third man who was accused of dismantling and getting rid of the cars was found not guilty of perverting the course of justice. Passing sentencing, the judge said it involved no fewer than five different cars and no less than 10 different people. And Zayman was caught by the fact that you lowered your mask and revealed your face to CCTV because you needed a cigarette. Detective Inspector Jim Mahan from the CID said this was a very complex case involving a lot of CCTV footage and is one of the biggest ever that we carried out by West Midlands Police. With the support of residents and businesses in the area, we were able to gather around a thousand items of CCTV to establish the events of what happened that day. Mataza was a much loved man and I commend his family for attending the trial and listening to the evidence about his murder. Guns were brought onto a residential street in Birmingham in a planned attack that took the life of a young father. Those involved helped to try and cover up their actions but were unable to do so and the police found them. Although we cannot be sure what the motive was behind the shooting, they are happy to bring the killers to justice. And that is the sad reality, is that in these cases, if the police cannot find out why it was done, they don't really care, they just want a conviction. And when you're opening fire in broad daylight in the middle of a street, you can be damn sure that the police will do everything they can to try to find out who did it. 
and in this case, 35 years, is the raw reality. The east of the city has sadly seen a lot of violence in the past year, and luckily, a lot of them cases have involved people not being killed, but at the same time, the risk that is carried with this is the reality of the life and the choice that people make. And this story definitely sends a big message about the consequences to making the decision to use firearms on the streets, and how long you will spend in prison as a result of this. The families of the people convicted in this case have to live knowing that they will never potentially see their loved ones again. So it's not only one family that is destroyed in this, it is several families. So I encourage and urge people to make better choices. There is so many opportunities for you in life now with different ways to make money legally that this is not the way to go. There are too many ways that you will suffer and your family will suffer for these choices. So my condolences to the family of Mataza and I wish all the best in the future for his children. Everybody can agree that this is not a choice that you want to be making in your life. And according to the Muslim beliefs of Mataza's family, he is now currently in heaven. I really appreciate you joining me today. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And rest in peace to Mataza Nazir. وبالسيئات عفوا وغفرانا حتى يكونوا في بطون الألحاد مطمئنين